Hello students, uh, myself Mewal Kodia from LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in today's session, we have to solve a numerical based on reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c. Okay. So how to find reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c? Already we discussed this method and also we derive one equation for that. Okay. So if you want to find out reflection about line for any of the object at that time, you have to follow five geometric process that you already know. First process is translation if you have a suppose you have one equation like y is equal to 2x plus 3 at that time you have to do first a uh, uh, geometric transformation that is translation first you have to move your straight line into the origin after that you have to do clockwise rotation then after we have to find uh, mirror image about x axis after that we have to give anti clockwise rotation and again last step that is inverse translation okay so this process already we discussed in our last lecture so in today's session we have to solve one numerical based on that so this is the numerical triangle pqr has vertices as p 2,4 q 4,6 and r 2,6 Okay, so in this numerical one triangle is given and three coordinates of triangle also given. Now, value of uh, coordinates all value is positive. So, triangle uh, must be placed in the first quadrant. Okay, it is designed to reflect through an arbitrary line L whose equation is y is equal to 0.5x plus 2. Okay, so in this numerical one triangle is given and one straight line equation is given and we have to find reflection of triangle about this straight line. Equation of straight line that is y is equal to 0.5x plus 2. So you have to compare this equation with y is equal to mx plus c. So if you compare this equation with y is equal to mx plus c at that time you can observe that m is equal to 0.5. m indicates slope of the line with x axis. Okay. So, value of m is equal to 0 0.5 and value of c constant is equal to 2. Okay. So, calculate new vertices of triangle and show the result graphically. So, first we have to find out reflection about line of triangle. After that, we have to also plot the diagram of reflected triangle. Okay. So, first you have to find out the slope of the line. Now, how to find slope of the line and you all know if any of the line there, suppose line y is equal to 0.5x plus 2 at that time, value of m is equal to 0.5 and you can compare value of slope with tan theta because tan theta is equal to delta y upon delta x. It is the difference of y coordinate in denominator difference of x coordinate that is indicate the slope of line. And you all know what is the equation of slope m is equal to delta y upon delta x, y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Already you learned this thing. So we have value of m is equal to 0 0.5. That means m is equal to tan theta is equal to 0 0.5. Five. Okay, so if you want to find out value of theta at that time, you have to use equation like theta is equal to 10 inverse 0 0.5 and you can get the answer of theta that is 26.56 degree. Okay, so now we have the answer of this slope. Means we have the value of theta that is 26.565 degree. Okay, and also we have value of C. Value of C is equal to 2. Okay. Now, uh, already I told you in last lecture that value of C indicate it is the distance between intersection point of line on y axis to the origin. Okay. So, if you want to move line on the origin, at that time you have to move, you have to translate your line in downward y axis up to 2. At that time, line moving on the origin point. Okay. So, uh, we have already derived one equation like that, delta means the triangle P dash Q dash R dash is equal to triangle PQR. Okay. So, P dash Q dash R dash that is the new coordinate of reflected triangle, PQR that is the original coordinate of the triangle and T means translation, R means clockwise rotation, M means mirror about X axis, R inverse means anti-clockwise rotation and T inverse means inverse translation. 
Okay, so we have to follow this process to find out. Now we have all equation for all this equation like translation. What is the equation of translation? 1 0 0 0 1 0 Tx Ty 1. Tx and Ty indicate translation in x axis, Ty indicate translation in y axis. Second equation that is R. Equation of R that is clockwise rotation. So we have equation of anti-clockwise rotation. If you put theta in place of minus theta, then this equation converted into clockwise rotation. So cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0. That is the equation of the clockwise rotation. Next, m. m means mirror about x axis. You already know. If any of the object in first quadrant, if you find reflection about x axis, then that object reflected in fourth quadrant. Equation of the reflection about x axis that is 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 1 that is already we derived and so numerical is done. Okay. Next R inverse. R inverse means anti-clockwise rotation. Equation of anti-clockwise rotation also you know cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 1 0 0. And in last again inverse translation means you have to give inverse translation means minus you have to use in place of tx ty you have to use minus tx minus ty okay so 1 0 0 0 1 0 minus tx minus ty minus 1 so we have to use all this equation in this numerical so next step in next step we have to put value all the value in the equation so in this numerical we have total six matrix first matrix triangle pqr so first you have to write down coordinates of triangle like 2 4 1 4, 6, 1, 2, 6, 1. Next, translation. So, you have to write down equation of translation. Means 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, Tx, Ty, 1. But in this case, we don't give any of the translation in x axis. That's why value of Tx is 0. So, in this case, in second matrix, in place of Tx, we have to put 0. And what is the value of Ty? Because intersection point of line, value of C is equal to 2. That means, line intersect on y axis at point 2. So, we have to first move this line or, or to the origin point. That's why we have to move this line to downward y axis of 2 unit. That's why value of ty is equal to 2. But we have to move line in downward direction. That's why we have to use minus 2. Okay. So, ty in place of ty we have to use minus 2 and 1. So, first matrix translation Second, that is clockwise rotation. So, we have equation of anti-clockwise rotation. So, in anti-clockwise rotation equation, if you put in place of theta, if you put minus theta at that time, that equation converted into clockwise rotation. So, cos minus 26 pi, 56 pi, we already find out value of theta based on slope. So, put value of that. Sin to a minus 26, 565, 0, minus sin, minus 26.565. Cos minus 26.565, 0, 0, 0, 1. That is the equation of clockwise rotation. Next, in below row, M. M indicate or mirror image about x axis. So, write down equation of that. 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Next, that is anti-clockwise rotation. Write down equation of anti-clockwise rotation. Put value of theta in that equation. So, cos 26.56. Sin 26.56, 0, minus sin 26.56, cos 26.56, 0, 0, 0, 1. And last, inverse translation. First, you move your line to the origin. Now, you have to shift your line to its actual position. Means, you have to give two unit rotation, two unit translation in positive y axis. So, you have to put value of ty is equal to plus 2. And we don't give any of the translation in x axis. So, value of ty is equal to 0. So, last equation of inverse translation that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 1. Okay. So, this is the main fundamental of this numerical. Once you write down this 6, numerical, six matrix, after that you have to just uh, calculate the matrix multiplication. But the important thing is you have to put the value in all the equation. That is the main thing. Now you have to just you, uh, calculate all the matrix. Clear? Yeah. And you all know we have to follow the backward direction. <coughs> Means we have to multiply last two matrix. Okay. So now we have total six matrix. So write down first four matrix.
matrix as it is and multiply last two matrix. So in next step, first step you have total six matrix. In next step, six matrix converted into five matrix. In uh, further step, that is uh, four matrix. In next step, that four matrix converted into three. After that two, and you will get final answer at single matrix. Okay, so we have to follow this process. So write down first four matrix as it is and multiply last two matrix and you all know how to multiply two three cross three matrix you have to consider first matrix first row and second matrix first column okay after that you have to multiply first row with all column of second matrix then after you have to consider second row of first matrix and multiply with all the column of second matrix then after you have to consider third row of first matrix and multiply with all column of second matrix. Okay, now you all know how to multiply 2, 3 cross 3 matrix. So, next step is in next step, you have to uh, write down first 4 matrix as it is and you have to multiply last 2 matrix. So, first 4 matrix we have to write down first matrix that is the right, coordinates of triangle, second translation equation, uh, uh, next step that is clockwise rotation and mirror above x. And you have to multiply last two matrix. And answer of last two matrix multiplication is 0 0.894, 0 0.447, 0 minus 0 0.447, 0 0.894, Okay, so now we have total five matrix. So you have to write down in next step first three matrix as it is, and you have to multiply last two matrix like this. So write down first three matrix as it is, triangle coordinates. Uh, clockwise rotation, uh, tra translation equation and clockwise rotation equation and multiplication of last two matrix that is 0 0.9894, uh, 0 0.447, 0, 0 0.447 minus 0 0.894, 0, 0, 2, 1. Okay, so that five matrix converted into four matrix. Now again in next step, you have to write first two <coughs> matrix as it is and multiply last two matrix. So you, uh, the next step is in next step, that is write down first two matrix as it is and multiplication of last two matrix is that is 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6, 0 and 0 to 1. So that four matrix converted into three matrix. In next step, you have to write down first matrix as it is and multiply last two matrix. Okay. So write down first matrix as it is, that is the actual triangle of the coordinate and multiplication of last two matrix that is 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0, 0 0.8, minus 0 0.6, 0, minus 1.6, 3.2, 1. Okay. Now you have just two matrix. If you multiply these two matrix, then you will get your final answer. Okay. So you have to just multiply these two matrix. And answer of these two matrix multiplication that is 2.8, 2.4, 1, 5.6, 2.8, 1, 4.4, 1.2, 1. So that is the new coordinates of triangle, reflected triangle. So new coordinate of reflected triangle, we have actual coordinate, delta, pqr and dt. This is the new coordinate of our triangle that is p dash, q dash, r dash. So what is the value of p dash? That is 2.8, 2 2.4. Second part's coordinate that is 5.6, 2.8 and third part coordinate that is 4.4. Now, in this numerical, you have to also uh, draw one diagram. You have to represent graphically represent this reflection. So, in graphical rep uh, representation, you have to draw actual triangle coordinates. Means you have to draw actual coordinates, and you also you have to draw reflected triangles coordinate. You have to plot both the triangle in graphical system. Okay. And also you have to draw one straight line, the equation of straight line that is 0.5x plus 2, clear? So you have to draw these three things in your graphical representation, so this is the diagram. So in this diagram, triangle PQR, P that is the coordinate of 2,4, Q 4,6 and R 2,6. Once you plot PQR point and you have to join with straight line and one triangle is generated. And uh, next you have to draw a straight line. Now value of C is equal to 2. So in a line intersect uh, on y-axis at point 2. Clear? 
and also we have the value of theta. So uh, from point 2 you have to draw a straight line with angle x axis, with angle of x axis that is 26.56. Here, so you have to draw a straight line. Now you have to plot coordinates of reflected triangle. Clear? Approximate answer that is already we find out their answer. So uh, plot P dash, Q dash and R dash and join with straight line and again one triangle is generated. So from figure you can easily understand that we have one straight line and we find reflection of PQR, reflection of actual triangle and that triangle reflection we get below the straight line. Clear? Yeah, from figure you can easily understand that this is the actual uh, mirror image of triangle PQR. Clear? Yeah. So this is the example of reflection about line y is equal to mx plus c. Now all the example is same as this example. Just value change like equation of line may be changed like y is equal to 3x plus 4, y is equal to 2x plus 5. You have to but you have to follow this procedure. Translation clockwise rotation mirror about x axis and the clockwise rotation inverse translation. You have to fix this process in your mind. Okay. And you have to follow this process for any of the numerical like this. So in next session we have to discuss some more method of this chapter. Okay. So in next session also we have to start 3D geometry transform.